A prelude to a masterpiece, a man and a shoe named Stan Smith, new options on Nike D, and some very cool Nike history. I am your host, Jacques Slade, and this is Today in Sneaks. The lead up to the release of the Kobe 9 continues and today Nike Basketball officially announced the Kobe 7 Prelude. Speaking specifically about the shoe, Nike Basketball gave up the details on the inspiration which was Kobe's gold medal at the 2012 Olympics. Created with cubist art as the focal point, the model makes the most of the Kobe 7 outer skin and lays it over a dynamic pattern that features Kobe, his Olympic number 10, and additional storytelling elements. It looks like a bit of a mural with gold accents, basically. The Kobe 7 Prelude will be available starting January 18th for $200. If you happen to be one of those design your own shoe types, well, Nike ID just added a few options for the Air Max 90. A classic in its own right, the Air Max 90 was recently updated on Nike ID with two options. The first option is the Lunar Lawn Midsole. I actually have a pair of these. This gives the shoe a springier feel than the normal Air Max. And then they also have the Natural Motion option. Both of those add $15 to the ID price. Now, the second option is Elephant Print. Now, there's some caveats to this because it's only available on the leather version of the Air Max 90 on ID. And even then, it is limited to black or natural gray. Adidas Originals has been pushing the Stan Smith kind of hard in the last couple of days. You can check the video yesterday for an example of that. And now it looks like they're going to release consortium versions. According to Adidas, the consortium is the premier tier of Adidas footwear that introduces both high-end executions and one-of-one -one executions of retro styles. For the Stan Smith pack, consortium designers kept true to the original fairway green and white colorway of the shoe, but modified the materials of the shoe in four different luxury leathers. For the Stan Smith, that means subtle crack leather, textured ostrich, understated pebble phoenix leather, and an eye-catching reptilian upper. You can look for all four of these to drop at select retailers on January 25th. And just a little bit of Nike history to end the show today, it looks like Jordan Geller, aka the owner of the Shoeseum, acquired a prototype of the Nike Waffle shoe. Now, the Nike Waffle was created by Bill Bowerman and he actually tinkered with these sorts of things at home and this shoe was found in the back, just tossed into the trash. So crazy for that, he acquired the shoe for $1,500. If you wanna find out more about that story, there's a link down in the description that'll take you over to ESPN. And for today's sneakerhead of the day, I'm going with Sneaker Grandpa. As you can see here, has quite a collection of kicks and a wide variety of kicks, which I think is really dope. So make sure you follow Sneaker Grandpa over on Instagram. Now, if you want to be the sneakerhead of the day, all you have to do is follow me over on Instagram. My Instagram name is Cousteau. And make sure you use the hashtag wear your kicks. Well, that's going to do it for the show today. As always, want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe. And shout out to Jordan Geller. I think that was so dope that he got that Nike Pro. Time. Anyway, uh, if you haven't, visit the links down in the description. It'll give you the full stories of all the sneakers that I talked about today. Again, I am your host, Jacques Slade. Click here for something random. Something. Something random. Click there for something random. And I will see you soon. Peace.